just like anybody else, many famous celebrities are said to have become spirits after death. Subsequently, many paranormal researchers have attempted to contact them, with these four being some of the more successful. So from the haunting ask for help by Marilyn Monroe, to the last words of Robin Williams, join us. On August 5th, 1962, legendary actress Marilyn Monroe slipped into a coma following an overdose of barbiturates and died the next day. At least this is the official report. Others contend that she was murdered, likely by the Kennedy brothers to cover up the alleged affairs between her and John, or that she committed suicide. Either way, Monroe's restless spirit has since been seen at her grave, home, and even Hollywood star. However, her most popular area to frequent is the Roosevelt Hotel, in her former room Suite 1200. In one incident, an employee was dusting the mirror when she saw a blonde woman behind her. Yet when she turned around, there was no one there. Many years later, on January 22nd, 2008, paranormal researcher Lisa, a contact research investigation specialist, conducted an investigation into Suite 1200 and recorded a potential EVP. After she says she's going to turn the lights on, a female voice softly replies, Help. Take a listen. A little dark, so I'm gonna turn that one off. Though this is only a brief one word contact, it still remains very chilling. Recognized as a revolutionary female comic, John Rivers died at the age of 81 on September 4th, 2014. The same day, Steve Huff of Huff Paranormal claimed to have been contacted by her whilst using a spirit box. Though it is again quite brief, it is still incredibly eerie how reminiscent the voice is. Take a listen. Is there a message you want to leave for anyone? Unlike the others on this list, Rivers has failed to be seen or heard from again, leading to the hopeful conclusion that she's achieved some peace. Known as the King of Pop, Michael Jackson is considered to be one of the world's greatest singers and performers. However, for his constant effort, he suffered from chronic fatigue, and subsequently became drawn to pain relief medicine, leading to his death on June 25th, 2009, of a proper fall on benzodiazepine overdose at his home in Los Angeles. Two months later, the county coroner concluded the death was a homicide, after it was discovered that the drugs had been administered by Jackson's personal physician, Conrad Murphy. But due to revelations that the singer was either addicted, or at least misused pain relief medicine, Murphy was controversially only convicted of involuntary manslaughter, and released after two years. Around the time of this conviction, Dutch EVP, a paranormal research team from Holland, caught the voices of a spirit repeating the name Michael Jackson. This conversation followed next. Take a listen. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. 
Did you die by accident? Did you die by accident? As heard, the spirit's voice sounds very similar to Jackson's. Could it really be him? What do you think? One of the world's most beloved comedians, Robin Williams sadly took his own life on August 11th, 2014, likely due to the effects of Lewy body dementia. In the days after his death, his security guards reported that the TV routinely turned itself on, with it once playing a standard performance of William's friend, Richard Pryor. Concurrent to this, the already mentioned Steve Huff recorded an EVP contact with whom he thinks is the comedian. Take a listen. Are you there, Robin? <laughs> Are you with the angels, Robin? Thank you, Robin. Robin, if you're there, can you come through? Since he has not received any further contact, Huff believes that Williams has now passed over. So that was four mysterious and creepy EVP recordings of famous celebrities. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for future content. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.